Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma, and I'm going to tell you about this beautiful magnetic red 2017 QX30 premium all-wheel drive that we have for sale. We acquired this off-lease directly from Infinity Financial Services, um, and it's a beautiful vehicle indeed. We do have a complimentary Carfax report, one owner clean Carfax. We also have the original build sheet. Original MSRP was $41,000. $730. It does have the navigation package. That was the $1,850 option, as well as illuminated kick plates. It does a $500, $540 option and rear bumper protector $270 option. And of course, we can print you a copy or email you one if you want more information or you want to peruse that sticker yourself in a little bit more detail. Uh, beautiful Napa leather interior, very high quality leather. Uh, we have beautiful cross uh, contrast stitching throughout the interior, synthetic leather and stitching on the dashboard as well as the doors. Beautiful uh, black piano finish. Um, the QX30 is the only Infiniti that you can get with a dual clutch transmission. And uh, automatic transmissions these days come pretty much in a few different ways, but uh, some automatic transmissions will use torque converters, while other automatics, kind of a newer version, is to use clutches, because clutches are a little bit more efficient. Um, when uh, the engine makes the power and the power gets sent, uh, you know, from the engine to the wheels, sometimes you can lose uh, you can lose some power, and you can lose some of that efficiency through the process of putting it through all these components, the transmission to the wheels. Um, but clutches are a little bit more efficient way of uh, putting power uh, to the wheels versus a uh, torque converter, which you find in um, more conventional automatic transmissions. So. We know clutches mainly for manual transmissions, but unlike a regular manual transmission that has a manual clutch that you have to push in and out to engage, uh, engage and disengage, these clutches are completely automated and handled by the car's computer system. And you have two clutches. So you have seven gears and you have two clutches. You have one for the even gears and one for the odd gears. Um, so it can pre-select the next gear for very smooth and seamless gear changes. Uh, great performance, and if you do want to shift yourself, it does have a manual shift mode, so you can use these paddle shifters to change gears. Uh, dual zone auto climate control, power and heated front seats. If you like music, this one is equipped with a Bose sound system. As we mentioned, this one has navigation. We also have a rear parking camera. Automatic dimming mirror, universal garage door opener. This one has a huge panoramic uh, glass panel up here, and then you have a sunshade to dim things down. If it's too bright, it's kind of bright today, but uh, it does feel nice. Uh, <laughs> we've been getting lots of rainy wet weather, so it's nice to have some warm sunny days finally. All season floor mats. This um, magnetic red is a little bit more of a rare color, but uh, I certainly love it. Maybe it works for you too. So the QX30 uh, was a brand new model for Infiniti in 2017. It was uh, developed with Mercedes. It uses lots of Mercedes uh, platform technology. It's uh, actually largely based on the Mercedes GLA slash CLA series. Car manufacturers will sometimes share components and platforms and uh, build vehicles together in situations like this because it costs a lot of money to develop a vehicle from the ground up. And uh, Nissan is our parent company, but rather than taking like a Nissan Rogue and rebadging it as uh, Infiniti, um, it, the Rogues and a lot of the small, you know, crossover Nissan's lineup weren't really refined enough to be worthy of a luxury brand that compete with other major luxury brands. So, who makes one amazing luxury cars? Of course, Mercedes does. So, why not use a small car platform from Mercedes to help uh, Infiniti develop the QX30? Well, I think it worked great in execution. Unfortunately, they had a falling out, so 2019 was the last year of the QX30, so they offered it for three model years, and you really get a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, if you compare this to you know, the similar Mercedes models uh, that this is based off of, you actually get a lot more uh, for your money uh, versus the Mercedes. Part of it is people probably pay a little bit of a premium for that Mercedes-Benz name, but obviously if you don't care so much about that, uh, why not try an Infiniti? I've been with Infiniti 15 years. It's a great product and it's a great company. Even though it's Mercedes technology, you can still uh, enjoy our amazing service uh, department and uh, a lot of benefits of being uh, part of the Infiniti family. So the QX30 was built in uh, pretty much two uh, flavors. You had the front wheel drive 
and the all-wheel drive. Most of the ones you'll find in our inventory will be all-wheel drive because that's what's popular in our wet slippery climate. So the all-wheel drive one has a little bit more SUV crossover, SUV inspired design influences where the front wheel drive one has kind of more car like design influences. You can notice first and foremost, you have a little bit more pronounced uh, front end on the all wheel drive QX30. You have this big, uh, big chin right here. Gives it a little bit more of an SUV look. You have uh, uh, un a unique wheel and tire package for the all wheel drives and um, obviously the tires are gonna be a little bit more of a all season, a uh, wider variety of condition type tires versus just pavement while well, these can do okay in uh, you know gravel and dirt obviously this is not an off-road type vehicle but it can handle some very 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 light off-roading mainly you know dirt gravel roads driving in the snow you also get an inch higher ride height with the QX30 all-wheel drive and then you notice these fenders that are in a matte color well on the front-wheel drive ones it's kind of a more of a body colored one versus the matte one like this and the reason why they do that if you encounter sticks or uh, brushes or trees, brush or trees, um, shrubs, you br rub up against it, it's not going to scratch those up. So it gives you a little bit more extra protection. Um, that's, you know, the main differences. And of course, this is one that's going to have all-wheel drive and it is intelligent all-wheel drive. So when all-wheel drive is not needed, you'll get 100% of the power to the front wheels. And then as all-wheel all drive is needed, as those rear wheels slip, it can send up to 50% of the vehicle's power to the front wheels. These are the Illuminate kick plates, $540 option. They light up. You really can't tell now, but at nighttime they look super cool. Interior space is not too bad, but this is a subcompact crossover, so it is a small vehicle. So obviously they can't work magic, but they did a pretty good job packaging it. I think you'll find it has more than adequate interior space for this size of a vehicle. You have a cargo area cover that's removable. Um, and then you can fold down the seats, or you also have a cargo pass-through as well. <clears throat> if you want to put some 2x4s back there or carry some skis. And you'll notice the contours on the QX30 are very dramatic. You have really beautiful creases and lines on the QX30. You actually have some of the most dramatic uh, body contours you'll find in a production automobile. All these creases and folds it's not cheap to manufacture a vehicle like that. It costs more money to add creases and lines to a vehicle. But Infinity wanted to make the QX30 look good and they definitely did so. So obviously they weren't cutting corners and trying to save money in that aspect and I think it really paid off. And the heart of the QX30 is a, a direct injection turbocharged four cylinder engine. It makes about 208 horsepower, 250 pound feet of torque, plenty of performance and acceleration. Uh, that's also an engine that is sourced from Mercedes and you'll find in a lot of Mercedes products. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.